Hey everybody, Nathaniel Dodson from tutvid.com here with another Premiere Pro tutorial for you today. We're gonna to talk about HSL Secondary in the Lumetri color panel. This is an amazing tool for targeting color. So pretty cool, you can target specific areas of a shot and this will allow you to change those colors very, very effectively and very quickly. Now, if you enjoy this tutorial, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you never miss another Premiere Pro or video editing or really any tutorial in the future. And if you really love uh, the video and you're looking for a way to support the channel, go ahead and pick up my Photoshop course Course. I'm working on a Premiere Pro course, but for now, all we got is the Photoshop course. A link will appear up there. That's why I'm pointing up there. There's also a link down in the bio. You can pick up that course. It's the best way to support the channel, and this channel is supported by viewers just like you. Thank you. Let's jump in and check out this video. So here we are uh, in Premiere Pro, and we want to jump over to the color workspace. Uh, and the primary reason that I like to jump to color workspace is because, well, I got some nice Lumetri scopes, but of course the Lumetri color panel appears as well. Now the HSL secondary tab, which is down here, this is going to generally be uh, some color correcting you do after you complete your overall, you know, LUT and general color grading work. So I could come in here, let's say we'll just like warm this up, maybe like increase the contrast a little bit, make the blacks a little blacker, maybe take a little bit of the sting out of the highlights, uh, and maybe just boost the, the overall exposure just a touch, right? Something like that. We went in, boom, there's before, there's after. We went ahead and just changed up things a little bit, but then we look at it and we say, hey, you know what? His shirt, we really need to change the color of that shirt. Now, thankfully for us, his shirt is this nice bright blue and contrasts very well against this background, a perfect subject for HSL secondary. So now in HSL secondary, you can choose to select a specific color like the blues, uh, and then you can further refine in terms of, hey, we actually want this to encompass more blues. And you can see Premiere Pro is giving me uh, kind of this heads up alpha channel display almost that's gonna say, look, there's the blues we've targeted, but that's not good enough. So I'm gonna undo that. I'm gonna undo again. I'm using Command or Control Z to undo. And here's what I like to do. I like to come down here and tick this color slash gray thing on. And then I can, I can try doing really exactly what I just did where I choose the blues, but really I should probably shut that off. I think I stepped one step ahead. Let's undo here a couple times because before I jump into color slash gray mode, I always use the eyedropper tool. And using the eyedropper tool, I'll go ahead and select his shirt, something like that, and then I would jump over into color slash gray mode. And I can see I selected a very, you know, not very much of his shirt. But what I can do is I can tell Premiere Pro, look, I can grab the arrow on top to just expand the amount of saturation that is taken into consideration, the saturation within this little uh, hue gamut, if you will, and also this brightness range. And I can use the arrow on the bottom of saturation here just to feather out uh, the amount and just say, look, you know, kind of get a little bit of the stuff that's not so saturated, but as you get closer to really my real deal range, my hardcore targeted range, uh, go ahead and, and just ramp that up. Now, this still isn't giving us a complete picture of his shirt, so we can go ahead and expand maybe the brightness range that we're attacking, and look at that, now we're really, now we're cooking with fire. Let's go ahead and increase that, and maybe we'll also go ahead and just increase the hue a little bit. And we'll go ahead and just shift that over. Maybe I'm gonna shift the saturation a little bit more. Saturation will just, it, it's all encompassing. And we're gonna go ahead and increase brightness a little bit more. And maybe we need to increase the hue just a touch more. And just kind of something like that. We're getting a really good, really good selection of his shirt. And this is auto updating. So this is gonna be all throughout the video. It's gonna target these colors in his shirt. That's great. So once we've kind of set the key, right? Once we've done that, and by the way, you can add to your colors using the plus or minus eyedroppers as well. I probably should have pointed that out, but I usually like to get in and mix it up with the sliders. I'm gonna uncheck color slash gray. And by the way, you could work with color over black uh, or white and black, which is just kind of like your, you know, your raw alpha channel, if you will. That can be really cool. And that can show you stuff like back here, right? We couldn't really see this with the color over gray. So there's going to be a little bit of stuff that's, that gets affected back there. I'm going to uncheck that. Actually, I'm sorry, I'm going to check that again because we can use the refine options down here, denoise, and you can see this is going to kind of clean things up a little bit. You can see how it's starting to change things back there. And you can also blur it a little bit to sort of soften the transition. Uh, but you really want to be careful because you can, it, blurring can do some bad things. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a bad idea to do a ton of blurring. Maybe I'll do a very tiny bit of blurring. And then I'm going to uncheck white to black because I want to see the correction now, which we're coming down the correct 
protection section of HSL secondary. Uh, we can increase the brightness of the selected or targeted or keyed area with this slider. So I crank this up, it's gonna brighten things up. I drop it down, it's gonna darken things up. See how his shirt just changes. Um, I'm not gonna change it too much. And then we can shift the actual color of it just by dragging the center point. So I could say, you know what, make it a little bit more yellow, infuse some yellow in there, or you know what, infuse some red into there, or maybe we wanted to, to add more like aqua type colors to it. You can also go ahead and use your shadows, midtones, highlights. Um, and you know, you can see here, I've already shifted midtone stuff, but we can go ahead and, and play with the shadows as well. So, you know, the shadows really need more yellow in them and the highlights really need a crazy dose of blue. And now we've done this terrible thing to his shirt. And if at any point you want to just undo this, you can double click on any one of these crosshairs and just go ahead and undo that. Now, I don't know that I'm going to play with the color wheels so much as the temperature here. So I'm going to increase a, a bunch the amount of purple that's in his shirt and maybe also pour more blue in there. So we're really going to make his blue, his shirt very blue. We're going to reduce the contrast factor a little bit. And we're also going to reduce the overall saturation factor just in hopes that we can kind of blend it in a little bit. And maybe we need to darken the shirt overall just a little bit more. All right. So that's going to be our HSL secondary change. Let me uncheck. You can see there's a shirt before and now there is his shirt after. So we can just quickly play through this video and you can see how it's just going to target and make those changes across the entire video. So really, really cool stuff with HSL secondary. Now this is kind of a very subjective example, but what if we have something like this overhead shot of New York where the client says, I love it, except the fact that the greenery doesn't look as green as I would like it to be. Well, HSL secondary to the rescue. Go ahead, set the color, choose those trees. Let's go ahead and use the plus eyedropper and try to add a little bit more uh, to what we're doing here. And then we'll tick on color and gray and maybe I'll increase or feather out the hue a little bit more. There's sometimes there's a lot of a yellowness in the trees, but we want to be careful we don't pick up like a yellow taxi on the road and go change in that. Uh, let's try to increase the, or expand, I'm sorry, the saturation factor, feather that out a little bit, great. And now let's toy around with the, the brightness factor. I'm starting, I can see, to pick up like the roadway, which is not really my intention. All right, so something like that, we get a good idea of, of the, the, the keyed area. So I'm, I, maybe I'll look at denoising a little bit, see what that does. Yeah, that's actually going to kind of help fill in the trees a little bit more. And maybe I'll blur just the smallest of bits. Now we're going to uncheck color slash gray. And really to make this correction, we'll probably stay away from the color wheel or maybe we can, you know, we'll come into the color wheel. What am I thinking? Let's pull toward the green a little bit and then also just shift the tint back away from magenta to give more green. And then we, we've really infused a lot of green. So let's just back the saturation off just a little bit. Uh, maybe not quite that much, just a little bit. There we go, something like that. And you can see here as we spin around, even the greenery that's reflected into the windows and up here on top of the buildings is much more green. Now, we are affecting over here, there's definitely green being infused into this building. So that's going to be, you know, we need to go in and work on our on our uh, key a little bit and really clean things up. But, you know, you can always go in and tweak and adjust and just, you know, make this as perfect as you can make it. And the keying tools and everything here within the HSL secondary uh, panel really make it possible to go in and get a, a really, really nice selection and make some color and contrast and everything changes uh, to a video file. And here, if I just show you, go to effect controls and I shut off Lumetri color. There it is before and there it is after. So we green everything up quite a bit using HSL secondary. So of course, if you're looking to target individual colors in your video project, uh, depending on where those colors are and how kind of contrasting they are, HSL secondary can do a really, really nice job. Now, the more you use it, the better you're gonna get at using it, the faster you're gonna be able to use it and all those good things, um, but yeah, Give it a try on your next video project, or if you have something where it's like, this project is great, but there's this yellow thing in the background that really just needs to be taken out or toned down a little bit, HSL Secondary, mm, perfect for doing that kind of job. So guys, if you've enjoyed this tutorial, again, make sure you subscribe to the channel using the red button down below. And for the HSL Secondary panel within the Lumetri color options in Premiere Pro, that's it. Get it, got it, good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one. And before you go, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more great tutorials every day. Also, buy my course. It helps us do what we do, and this channel is supported by viewers just like you. You can also just click the thumbnail and watch another video from this channel. See you next time, guys.